we've been working on finding the factors of 100. We were able to do that together, and we listed the factors of 100 right down here. We came up with 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, 50, and 100. We also discussed that the factors that make 100 can also be used for the factors of multiples of that number. So we're going to look at the number 200. We also talked that I can double 100 to make 200, so we're going to again use that information to use the factors of 100 to help us out. Well, I'm going to start with the smallest factor. That is going to be the num factor number 1. If I look over here, I needed 100 of them to make 100. I'm going to double that to make 200. That's 200. I can now write my factor pair of 1, sorry, 1 times 200. In my factor pair, I use the factor 1. I'm now going to use the factor 200. I only need one of them. So again, my expression is 200 times 1. The next factor I used was 2. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it over here. I know I needed 50 of them to make 100. So I'm going to double that to 100 so I can make 200. Again, my factor pair is 2 times 100. I'm going to go ahead and use this factor over here, 100. I need two of them, so 100 times 2 would give me 200. The next factor, I'm going to go in order, so we'll go down here is 4. The factor is the number 4. Over here, I used 25 of them, so again, I'm going to double that to 50. So my factor pair is 4 times 50. Again, I'm going to use the reverse. 50 is a factor. I need four of them, so this, fact, this factor pair is 50 times 4. The next factor I used was 5. Again, over here I used 20 of them, so I'm going to double it to 40, making my factor pair 5 times 40. I'm now going to use my reverse. 40 is a factor. I need five of them, making this factor pair 40 times 5. I'm going to go to the 10. I needed 10 of them to make 100 because we discussed it being a square number. I'm going to double it now, so I'm going to need 20. Again, my expression being 10 times 20. So obviously 20 is also a factor. I need 10 of those, 20 times 10. That was my next factor, so I've already used it. I'm now going to go to 25. 25 is a factor. We looked at it as money. Four of those make a dollar, so I'm going to double it to make 200 or two dollars. So 25 times 8, or in this case, 8 times 25 will also make 200. I'm now going to go to 50. When I looked at 50, I needed two of them to make 100. So again, I'm going to double that to make, sorry, I need two of them to make 100. I'm going to double it to make 200. And I start realizing I already used this one right over here. So I'm going to go to my last factor, 100, and again, I've realized I've already used it, so I've already used all of the factors that I need to do. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to list my factors for here, the smallest one being 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, 25, 50, 100, 200. You know me, I always want to make sure we have them all here, so let's go and do our rainbow to double check. And I'm going to say 1 times 200 is 200, that worked. 2 times 100 is 200. 4 times 50 is 200. 5 times 20, oh, something's missing. My 40 is missing. 8 times 25, 10 times 20. So I have listed all of my factors. This is why we always check. We left one out. We put it where it needs to go, and our rainbow is good to go.